I'm coming after you and that fucking Byron as well. By the time I finish with you, you won't know which way you're fucking shitting out of, right? Ever! Hi guys, it's Paul here and thank you for joining me. Um, the other day I put out a video on the Great British Bird or Claire Hocking Oakle, this side of me. Um, and it was basically a recap of uh, a, a sort of a video I did uh, nearly a year ago now. And in that video, I was sort of analysing some of the absolute BS that she was coming forward with. She claimed, she was claiming that she uh, that she works for Donald Trump um, under the management of Charlie Ward. Um, she was doing some videos with him around that time. Um, she then she'd seen the expose that I'd done on Charlie Ward. Thirty reasons I don't why I don't trust Charlie Ward, and she had reacted quite badly to that. And she'd come onto my Telegram channel, um, planning to smear my name berate me um she come across all of the, the members of the telegram of course and she was calling all of us um pedophiles um saying that we were working for saying that i was working for mi5 mi6 and this was all done on like a sunday i was busy that day with family and she uh, absolutely berated me like, where is paul we know your name is paul uh, and just in case anybody's uh mi5 that's name's paul um she claims uh, she knows that because she uh, has quantum technology and quantum technology can pick up our energies and find out where we are where we live uh what our names are and um, she went on to talk about uh, my members, my Telegram members, and saying, oh, I know your name. It's uh, Kirsten, and you work for the CCP. And just, just It was just absolutely crazy. But um, one of the things um, that I, you know, they did show was how foul-mouthed she is um, and how much of a fantasy she is. And she, she'd also, you know, on the, on the recap that I showed the other day, um, I showed some of her wild claims. Um, she was claiming, as well as many other people around that time, that uh, uh, Hillary Clinton was hanged the other day at Gitmo, and we're going to find out in the next few weeks in the mainstream media, which we did not. This was 11 months ago. Um, she also claimed that, um, that, that Charlie Ward was uh, directly working under Donald Trump. You know, the likes of Charlie, who I absolutely adore. I mean, this woman says that uh, Charlie Ward has recently accepted um, chief of staff under uh, the job of chief of, chief of staff underneath Donald Trump. I don't think any of her followers really believe that, surely. I, I hope you don't believe that. Um, some, some mad stuff. But anyway, so go back and watch that if you want uh, as a quick recap of that video. Now, in today's video, I want to kind of look at where she is now. I knew that her YouTube channel was taken down. Um, I knew that she was on Rumble and BitChute somewhat. I checked there. She's not really on there much um, anymore. I think she's on Rumble a bit. And I found a, a new YouTube channel, which is a couple of months old. But it seems that she does most of her um, grifting um, continuation of this, this fantasy world um, on Telegram. And, and, and so I'm told also Facebook, doing Facebook Lives, Telegram videos, uh, etc. Uh, she claims that she now has, I think it was 22 or 26 Telegram channels that either she runs or is, is um, very much affiliated with. And um, yeah, so that's that's where she continues. And she, you know, she has thousands of uh, subscribers there. So she has people um, still, you know, and, and there's people that have joined my group since this the, the expose that I did on her, um, who used to be her uh, mods, uh, admins, they were kicked out, berated by her. Um, when my, uh, so basically, she'd come into my telegram and had mouthed off and made up all sorts of uh, wild accusations, um, you know, and, and even saying um, things uh, in her videos, like she was going to send people to uh, anally rape me, um, her, her, six, uh, her bunch of six foots um, US Navy SEALs that are hanging around London. Um, some, some quite um, sickening, uh, violent um, stuff that she was coming out with. And um, so where was I? Yes. So uh, when she, she'd done all that, and obviously that resulted in me exposing her too and bringing out a video on her, which she did not like. She reacted very badly to it immediately. Um, she was getting everyone to try and report my Telegram channel to take it down. Um, anyone that was posting in her group the video that I had made, uh, she was instantly booting them from the group. Um, she did not want uh, this getting out. And, and, and I'm told by someone who was close to her at the time that she was aware that the video was live on her and she was too embarrassed to watch. So she knew, I guess, that her behavior was embarrassing. Um, so, yeah. So 
today I want to show uh, what I have found. Like I said, she she does have a uh, a small YouTube channel that's that's come out recently. She's still going on Telegram uh, mainly. Her big thing was that she is in charge in the UK uh, with exposing and emptying the dumps full of children, full of trafficked children, and that she has 46, and, and this number has uh, fluctuated over videos and different posts. But um, I think she says in this one, she has 46 people, that blokes that work for her. She said US Navy SEALs before in London. And they. Um, so her story was that she was emptying, emptying dumps and she was passing on information about dumps here, deep underground military bases um, here in the UK. And she was passing these on to her buddy, um, Donny Trump, um, you know, she she works for. So that's her story. I want to show a, a clip and analyse that of what she's been up to recently, because many people haven't really seen her. But before I do, um, you know, the, the video that I did 11 months ago was about two hours long. There was a lot in that video. I showed uh, 18 minutes of highlights the other day um i've got a bit more of that to show you what she what exactly was she saying whilst she was in the group uh, in my telegram group um so i'll show a little bit of that first and uh, just to get a bit more of scope and, and and do go and watch the, the whole video if uh if you feel i mean i think that this video and the last video will will recap it will do it justice but um if you're interested uh, to find out more and see what else she was saying um go watch that whole video so without further ado um let's go back 11 months ago uh, to see what else was said um, in that in that telegra telegram um, conversation, or I'll say it's conversation, she basically just berated us with voice messages. Do not go after fucking kids. Right. Never have. Why do you keep saying this? Let's start. What we, how would you feel if I came after your family and started researching into your family? I've Are never... you all telling me online here that you're actually fucking innocent? I and never come after your family. Words? I don't know about Charlie. You're what I do know nuts. is the fact that I work for him, but you never didn't work for him. It... I don't know, Charlie, but what I do know about it is that I work for him. Let, let's rewind. He right. works for Donald Trump. I That's how I know him, because can't. you're actually fucking innocent, and you've got no skeletons listen in the cupboard. Listen to this, listen to this. I don't know about Charlie. What I do know is the fact that I work for him. I don't know about Charlie, but what I do know is the fact that I work for him. You don't know about your own boss. You're out here saying all this stuff to us. You've not, I bet you've not even watched that 30 Reasons, have you, Claire? All right. Charlie, Fro why is the CCP involved in all this? Why is the CCP funding it all behind the scenes? Do you know that is, guys? Evidence. Chinese Communist Party. Evidence, I didn't please. know. Why is it? Why, I... You know who that is, guys? That's the Chinese Communist Party. I didn't know, she says. The leader of emptying the dumbs in the UK. Really? FBI and MI with the dot, 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 and then there's a six. Who the fuck is that? P-Man works for him. Who's P-Man? We're getting to the bottom. It's a man, isn't it? Can anyone hear that? What's, what, what's this, this, this sound that's going on here? Okay, so, anyway, let's get this straight. Mr. Chow's a woman. Is she on? No. She works for CIA Geneva. She's CCP is funding this. Definitely gives no across the impression person. that she's absolutely Charlie on the marching power, Blank. right? FBI, CCP funding this. Are you shocked now that I know this fucking shit? What was that two hours ago? I told you I was going to find this shit out. Quantum. I did fucking tell you, Quantum. Oh, Quantum. Okay, yeah, I forgot. Just like Charlie had said recently, um, that she finds out this information from quantum technology. Um, you know. <laughs> Glenn, who are you? That's your nickname, isn't it, Glenn? Okay, Charlie Fraud, eight eight. She's just making this stuff up. Is a man. Glenn. It's like if I said, Claire, I know who you are, Rebecca. I know that you work for uh, Mossad, Rebecca. Oh, we know where you live. We're coming for you. Guys, we, we all know about quick, well, no, quantum technology told us this. Like, yeah, trust, trust. Um, let's go after Rebecca. We know you're really Rebecca, Claire. Like, it's that sort of, and she's going on about psyops. Um, she's just filling people's heads with, with crap. Deeper I'm getting. I don't know if that's correct. Age 48. I might be wrong. Darren, who you are might, you? You might be wrong. Not sure. P-Man, not sure if you're a woman or a man. The FBI, MI6, I'm hearing. Here P-Man, not sure who you are. 
Uh, I'm not sure if you're a woman or, or a man, but um, what did she say? FBI, I'm, I'm hearing. Like, she's getting this information, and the first thing they tell her, oh, that they work for, I'm not sure if they're a woman or a man. Like, bull crap, man. How can anyone, like, this woman is, is, is crazy. And the rat is being caught. The rat is getting caught. Hi, guys. Can everybody make sure they publicise everything we talked about on this group, please? Not particularly my recordings, everything I've told you. Don't worry. I am publicising everything on this group, including your recordings. If anyone wants to see the chat, they can join my Telegram and see the rest of the chat. But uh, I'm absolutely making a special effort to put out there everything that this woman has said. Make sure you get it out far and wide that these people are working for organisations. Don't here. worry, many right, people are so going to see this video. What they're doing obviously, they're ruining innocent people's lives. Can you no, make sure we get this? You are in, you're ruining innocent people's lives. Like, uh, how can you say that? How are we ruining? How am I ruining innocent people's lives? The only people's lives I'm affecting are people that are not innocent, and that is a fact. fact there's one thing I'd like to say, Kirsten, and this is especially for you. When you look at all about this Kirsten like again, you get really fucking underestimated, and you really fucking underestimated me, didn't you? Okay, now my bosses know who you are. Oh. Right. <laughs> Bye. But we've uncovered a bit. I want everybody to report this group, okay? Because obviously the Chinese right. Communist Party are funding it between Matt Hancock. So they're all in the same fucking... Right, okay, yeah. So the Truth of Network will all agree uh, about cancel culture and stuff. Yes, I have reported on people that I can see a line on people. That doesn't make me a part of the cancel culture. This, this, everyone uh, that I've just sent over to the group, everyone please report this group to stop them from talking. But why are you worried about what we're talking about? If you're the truth... Why are you going through this much effort? Why have you invited 70-odd people over to this chat and said, everyone report this chat and get them closed down? And if you are working for Trump and in such a high position, um, why would you not have a major sway in that um, without having to resort to hours, it seems like? I don't know if it's been minutes or hours. I mean, I've been recording for like an hour and... 20 minutes odd already um it seems like you're talking forever and going around in circles and just being vile but why would you put in that much effort I'm, i suppose it's probably because like you said it's like breathing for you um but why would then you go for the effort of getting 70 odd people into this small telegram chat and then ask them all to close it down it just seems like you're scared you'll be about to be exposed uh, to me i didn't know that until just now that's come back to me so ccp yeah, I didn't know that till now, until it just come back to me. I've just found out these guys are all CCP as well. Just to add to it all, report this group, because I've just found out they're all CCP, as well as MI5, MI6, um, they're Scotland Yard coppers, um, they're everything that you hate, and the paedophiles, and they support Matt Hancock, and everything. And please report this group. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> truth? Uh, evidence? Please? Anything? Anything? At all? So that shit. means everything that we're dealing with out of London, it's the same issue. As, so I'm asking everybody to report this group now to Telegram. Thank you. Darren, have you heard of um, a pen which holds adrenaline? You know what I'm talking about? Because I can't wait to have a party with you lot. Fucking hell, you are going to be awake you at the very end. Vicious you are vicious and vile. At the very end. Listen Within the to next that. six months, you're going to see who I am and what I've been doing. Like, I get wanting to, to hold people's account, especially for crimes against like children like let alone humanity children um but to throw around i'm going to play with you with an epi pen i'm going to keep you awake i'm going to torture you for good without any evidence I, sure she says she has it yeah let, let's see that um <laughs> that, doing to this country wow. behind the scenes because unlike you motherfuckers i work for the right side and donald trump is the fucking right side because he's brought these cunts down oh, in this yeah, country your boss you yeah of have been course. hiding behind the scenes so the your old China pal donny <laughs> fbi and your good old friend you donald eh? yeah that means there's a dodgy fucker you are a group. fantasist really dodgy you are delusional either that or you know guys. what you're Listen, doing and go you are purposely hurting me oh have you um Let's just say a nice person who I'm going to discuss oh. all this shit with. So keep it going if you want. Keep is it Charlie? Off, whatever you want to do. But can you just make is sure it, before you it? leave the group today, can you make sure you do me a favour and can you um, report it, please? Because, oh. as I say, 
I just managed to get myself a crime reference number off the police. And the first thing to get have. NSA involved, I've got to go through the crime reference number. Of course you have. You need to get NSA really involved. That's the way I do it, even though it's from Israel. You, you could just ask your pal Donny, you know, Donny Trump. You could just be like, you know, dude, you know, these guys are obviously bad people. Let's shut down the Telegram group. Um, you know, you could pals with him, right? You work for him. Work for him and Charlie Ward, you know, powerful people. Um, surely we're not a threat. Surely we should be easy to close down. Um, it, 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 just this whole thing, this whole, like, everyone flood into this chat and get them all closed down. Like, you know, you're not doing yourself any fla like flavours, any favours here. You're talking rubbish. I'm now what I've got to do. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it the correct way. So obviously we're in the right, right motions. I think it's bad that Kirsten's doing all this. Don't you? Know, it just makes me giggle. I'm off my head. This is the point where I mean, such Kirsten great, such great um, had sent pictures of his yeah, bandy legs. Just so you know, it's anyone that's on my Kirsten, group, I'm happy to show you the email that's come from Thor, by the way, on my Intel group privately. Obviously, I'll, I'll hold up. Anyone that could confirm this. Please uh, do. Tonight, so we've got proof of who these people are, and we've got addresses as well. Now. Yeah, please, right, please. Let me you know. So anybody who wants to, wants to any, do something about this, any evidence, of the you absolute you liar, you grifter, please get in touch you with me. Right, guys, you manipulator. Hey, mate. You... I work under Donald Trump. Of I course you do. Because guess what? Three years ago, when this shit was going down, he knew what was going to be happening in this, this country. And do you know why he knew it? Because guess what it is in this country? This is where Does the she ever shut started, up? you stupid bitch. This is what we... Why we... You know, luckily at this point, um, people in the group started doing their own voice notes. They were fed up um, with talking. So again, big up to Michelle for fighting back. Um, because she didn't let people get a word in edgeways, really. Excuse me, Claire. I'm not actually sure what you're implying here. You know, you said earlier on, what was it? Uh, I couldn't type quick enough. Now you're accusing us all in this group of being pedophiles. You should get your facts straight. I'm on this group because of my love to save children and help them. I am a victim. I was a survivor of trafficking, being abused and a whole lot more. Yes, I left school at 16 too. I'm a 51-year-old woman who lived through a 30-year war in Northern Ireland. So don't call no shit with me that you're stronger and better than any of us. I've been to hell and back, and I'll go to hell and back to save any child. I come on this group because I'm sick, sore, and tired of seeing truthers coming out with all this crap intel leading people up the garden path asking them for money and people are sending money right left and center because they don't know what else to do they're afraid yes you might have your group and all your followers and you might have made millions i didn't that wasn't my path god chose for me but I'm telling you this, not everybody on this channel is paedophiles. Be very careful who you're accusing of being a paedophile. And another thing, your foul mouth is disgusting to be a lady. You know that? We can all get angry. We can all get irritable. This is a really tense, stressful time we're all in, not just you. We all want the children saved. I would do anything to save a child. So be very careful who you're, you're accusing. Good night. I just need to pause this and say, I absolutely love you. <laughs> Thank you so much um, for saying that. And, you know, you didn't need to say all that. Um, but, you know, that really, you know, what you were saying hit me. You know, you, this woman's running her mouth all this time and you know you've been trying to type and you've been trying to speak and, and you didn't need but you felt that your voice must be heard in this and um yeah it, it was profound and um i appreciate you 
and um, I'm sure everyone listening, whether or not they, you know, they are the fans of Claire or not, um, really appreciate what you've just said. Say something. I don't know who you are, but can you speak a bit quicker? Because you're really talking really slow and it's really, really, I'm struggling with that. Okay. You horrible, awful human being. I... I, I don't I don't know what to to say. Do you taking the taking the piss out of someone that just said that? That's vile. So, Michelle, or whatever your name is. All right, I said the group is a paedophile run group. So if you aren't, you didn't. You said everyone here was paedophiles. No, I'm not because I'm fighting against the bookers. Are I you? You get off the group. And if you want to stay on it, and we advertise the fact that it's a paedophile group, it's up to you, isn't it? But it's not that. You're harbouring it. I told you I'm definitely going to publicise this group. Good. I know these Thank other you. bookers are behind paedophiles. Okay. You don't. So you don't want don't to, know. and you're not. Cool. You're an innocent bystander. I'm sorry if you're. A you boy, are. But get the fuck off. A whack job. Are, okay. Because With I'm coming after nothing, these bookers. Nothing. No information. Definitely you have no connection. The paedophile fucking. Loving paedophiles because that's what they are. Fact. I don't know what your name is, right? But you sound a really sweet little lady. Really sweet. Okay. I really haven't got any truck with you. Look, I wouldn't do this to my mother, and I certainly wouldn't do it to you. So walk on by, and then you'll stay safe. Group, you must have heard of my group because I'm the person that's taking the fucking dumbs out with the kids in that these fuckers are sponsoring. Yeah, of course you are. Evidence, please. Apart from your ranting and your swearing and your um claims that you're you know um working under trump um evidence anything anything that you just, you're just so not believable I, and i can see how you're gripping people with your language but all of those people anyone that's still following or listening to claire ask for some proof please some real proof and then when you get that proof when she sends you something double check that Double check that. She's lying. She's lying to you all. These fuckers are behind Matt Hancock. And do you know who he works for? How? Shall I tell you? Oh, there's no point, is there? Because it's like stocking. <laughs> shall, shall I tell you who he works for? Ah, oh, there's no point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the brain <laughs> dead, is there? I didn't know that the... Ca I really didn't know until half an hour ago, until I just took that call that this lot was bigger than I thought with the CCP. I didn't know. That's the stupid thing about Of course! I got into a war of words and then I got intel. Oh, there was CCP too. <laughs> Damn it. Like, you're like one of the worst kind of grifters out there. One of the most worst manipulative people um, that I've ever come across. I really thought it was just MI. I really have no fucking clue how fucking deep these fuckers go. You dirty bastards on it. And then you've you got a revelation. Shut down you their channel. You're a victim, okay, and you know that. How come you've not sussed out that these fuckers are, are not what they are? I'm just asking you. I just want to know. Oh my God, Claire. Why don't you just fuck off, you silly gobby twat? <laughs> Claire, why do you again. fuck off, you silly gobby twat? Piss off. Oh my god, Claire. Uh, this is why SN. Um, off, I've not heard of her before. Twat. She must be new to my group. But oh my god. spot on. I love you. You're so sweet. And spot I love on, SN. Well. Thank you so much. It's great. And I'm going to send you lots of love because you're amazing. But you know what? I am. What? Because she actually was like, you know what? I'm going to be as gobby as you and tell you how much of a gobby shit you are. And you're like, oh, I love you. Don't want to fight with you. <laughs> Bobby, because you know why I am. Because you're involved in a group here, and these fuckers that are running it, MC is a fucking paedophile follower. And you don't... Oh, I thought she was going to leave it there without saying follower then. Uh, but even so, how? How am I a paedophile follower? Um, any Everyone that's following Claire, ask her for um, proof that I follow paedophiles. Proof. Hard, hard evidence. Ask for it, please. And when you get it, can you publicise it so everyone can see that, 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 that it doesn't exist? Everyone, please. Thank you. Know it. And if you don't know it, do your homework first. Or phone me up and I'll give you the facts. And then you can say, right, you've got a right to be gobby, Claire. All right, SN, whoever you are. 
Do you know what point? Big you said anything because you don't fucking know, you absolute clown. <laughs> you're leaving this group because you're an absolute fucking muppet. Mm. So you're leaving the group. Bye bye. Bye bye. The people that doubted me or don't know, if you've got my phone number, you're welcome to call me and ask the truth. And I'm happy to sit down. Who wants to phone this woman? Anyone? Any takers? <laughs> Anyone want to sit and have a conversation with this woman? Um. She seems incredibly pleasant, doesn't she? <laughs> Let me tell you, I don't, I don't have a problem with it. All right, sending love, but as I say, can everybody else come off the group, please, if that's the case? I don't really want anybody involved in it, because it's dark energy, and we've already put that out. Of course. I've already said a prayer into the group. Okay, taking care, lots of love, bye. <laughs> oh, um, God, I, I've read, oh, well, I've listened to about four or five of these uh, voice notes from this absolute delusional fantasist. Um, this all is right, me. Claire, uh, let Thank me tell you, you something. Um, my name is not Paul. Uh, I don't know who you think you are, but people, watch this, Claire, and watch her go after, uh, I say in inverted commas, whoever uh, she thinks she is going after and whoever this person's boss is. When I saw her talking about uh, Sam Paul, I was like, I, I thought it was me making these videos that were showing that, you know, Charlie is a dodgy one. Um, however, you know, I, I was like, who the hell is this, this Paul guy? Who the hell is this Paul guy? It can't be me. Uh, well, now I've got confirmation. She thinks I am some pool guy working for some agency. This is just this, this is funny. Um, so Claire, please um, show your evidence. Show your evidence of me working for some organisation. Show your evidence of me being Paul. I can tell you all now, right here, right now, that this lady is completely unhinged. Uh, is a fantasist and has no clue. Um, who I am, and and it is it just it's, it's just funny. So I'll read the rest of the messages later, but um, it's just trash. Um, so Claire, um, you're asking why why am I not going after Matt Hancock and people? I'm going after people that are taking advantage of the vulnerable, including yourself, of, of vulnerable people in this time, feeding their heads full of rubbish and taking money. You might not be taking money now, but I'm pretty sure I hear you're starting up a platform just like Charlie's taking money of these innocent people that are believing every word you say. So you've got to be careful what you say because you are you are one of these people that are warping people's minds, that are taking them for a ride in these uncertain times. You need to stop. The, all of you people need to stop fucking with people's heads. This is serious. This is what's causing suicides. You people are have no shame. You have no shame. I'd like to see the details of this team that you've got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let, let, mm -hmm. let's see this this team that you're apparently that. working for. Uh, I don't believe it exists. I believe it exists only in your head. And I think that that uh, Charlie and other fantasies is is fueling your this this fantasist behaviour of yours. So I'll say again, Claire, I am not Paul. OK, I'll say again, what I'm doing is for the good of the people, what Charlie especially is doing to pe people's mental health and, uh, and perhaps even your mental health. I, I yeah, am just... worried about you, too. Um, I have nothing but absolute, uh, you, you know, children are important to me. Their mental health and their well-being is very important to me. But what can I do in my capacity? Um, yeah, I don't have a secret special forces team like you going into underground dumbs, apparently. <laughs> but what I can do is I can look at people, yeah. fantasists like you, filling your people's heads with rubbish, and you will all be outed soon. You will all be outed when nothing comes to fore that you're saying. Nothing happens. Uh, you guys need to stop fucking with people's heads. It's wrong. What you're doing is wrong, and people will all see you for who you are very very soon. I mean, um, you could see in that video uh, where Michelle had um, sort of stood up for herself and us uh, and the group. Um, you could see that I was, you know, uh, that her her voice, you know, what she said really, you know, as I said, it was profound. Um, I said there, you know, I could, you could see that, that it impacted me, you know, that, that sort of, you know, hit me in some way. And, you know, I felt like the need to, you know, oh, you know, thank you for doing that. You know, I really appreciate that. And I think a lot of people did that were, were listening. I had lots and lots and lots of comments on that video, like thanking Michelle, saying, you know, when she'd finished, um, obviously Claire just went on, oh, you're speaking too slowly and just ripped into Michelle at first. And he just exposed um, the nature of kind of who she is. Um, I just don't, I just can't understand how anyone could do that. Um, and then someone came on and started telling her to F off. And she was like, oh, I love you. 
um the dynamics of that is just <clears throat> it, it's it's interesting to see but and anyway at the end I, you know i gave my um my statement at the end uh, when i finally came on i was like right i need to address her and i gave that um you know address saying basically you will be exposed over time you're going to be exposed the things that you're saying now which was 11 months ago will not come true you will be exposed that video did expose her um over the um the coming months she said something like within six months you will know who i am and things you know it's been 11 months um and if anything people have stopped paying attention to her not you know and so she she was exposed and i was saying that you know stop coming stop telling people this bullshit stop trying to say stuff about me that's not true uh i'll say stuff about you which you know i i found out and you will be exposed uh, and that's exactly what's happened and, and that's exactly why i'm back here today to see what she's up to so <laughs> someone had told me the other day she stopped um talking about emptying dumbs and that she's involved in some sort of team now for so many months she's been just um repeating uh, popular posts around the pandemic around um around the vaccine around um child trafficking uh, common memes that are going around sort of stuff rather than saying that she's um working emptying dumbs of children um she's gone to a less extreme form of you know, working um, to expose this sort of stuff, which is, um, you know, sharing common things that are going around on Telegram. However, I did come across this video. Hey guys, it's just a quick update and it is only a quick update because everything we're trying to put out is getting blocked. Okay. Um, I don't really know where to start really, but I need to start at the bit that's the most sensible for me to say it because it's going to be bye bye soon. Probably. But somebody's got to be brave enough to stand up about all this shit. What does she mean by it's going to be bye-bye soon? Um, bye-bye for her? Bye-bye for everyone? Um, weird thing to say. The UK at the moment, all right? I just want to be, make this clear from the start for everyone that's listening. And when I say everyone, I include all the fucking satanic motherfucking bastards that are watching this okay because believe you me i'm just one small fucking cog in the big wheel of what's going on but you motherfuckers i'm gonna nail your fucking ass off even if i'm not alive i'm gonna nail you because there's one thing i want to make very clear okay evidence is very easy to get with money trails so so fucking easy and most of the people in this country are as thick as shit because they believe that fucking thing on the wall, which is called a box. Okay. If you've got anything about yourself, which, which thankfully with dyslexia, it stops me actually uh, reading books and all that shit. But do you know what it doesn't do? It keeps me connected to my soul. So I actually feel everything and then I start. Right, so it's funny you say about the paper trails because I believe it was yourself and Charlie Ward had said, oh, there's paper trails that link you. Um, we know that you work for MI5 and MI6, etc. And none of those paper trails. I challenged you guys to to bring them out, show evidence of them. And, of course, they never did materialise because they never existed. Because it's not true, because it's just lies. If you've got anything about yourself, which thankfully with dyslexia... It stops me actually uh, reading books and all that shit. But do you know what it doesn't do? It keeps me connected to my soul. So I actually feel everything and then I start researching it. And I've been involved with... So, sorry. Um, thankfully, you've got dyslexia. So you don't read books. You don't pay attention to, to books or anything that's written. You, you know, you, you see stuff and you go on to research. Where are you researching? Are you, are you researching on YouTube? Is that, is that your source of information? Um, I think reading is is very important. Um, you know, I'm not saying that that some some you know things that are written, some news that's written, some of our history that's written may not be lies or the truth distorted or the history being written by the winner. However, um, saying stating, oh, I'm, I'm wise, I'm connected because I don't read. Um, that just seems like a, a massive contradiction to me. That makes me trust trust your. That makes me trust you, if anything, less. Um, not that I, I trusted you anyway. That, that would make a, a a viewer, an impartial viewer, trust you less. I'm sure. Anti child trafficking, anti anybody trafficking, anti organ harvesting, anti fucking drugs. All the shit that's gone down, and I've not lived a blameless life. I've done drugs before in my past, but do you know what? I've lived on both sides of the fence. 
So the thing is, I know how you fuckers work. I know how you fucking work big time, okay? When you're knocking rounds with people in Liverpool and you're growing up around the fucking Unky Brothers, granted, many years ago, but I remember seeing them around. This shit that you're doing, all you've done is polish the fucking turd. You're no different than me. In fact, they're probably better than you because at least they did what they thought was right for the people. All right. Um, she says that she um, used to, she grew up around, uh, she hung around with um, some, some gangsters. Um, she's been on the other side of the fence before. And um, she she then comically said, um, she said the word turd. Um, you're, you're just polishing a turd. And I'm so happy to hear you say that, turd. <laughs> because it just brings me back to my friend Intel Lady and uh, her, a... Um, the satire um, pieces on on the great British Ted. <laughs> Hello, you patriots. Right, listen up. I've just heard from my line manager, Fraudy, that that Paul, that horrible Paul guy, you know, the MC Chris Ruth, whose real name is Paul, is coming back with the Griff Busters on the first Wednesday of every month at 9pm UK time. Well, I'm not having that. I've already warned him to stay away. I've already warned him to shut that, to zip it. And he's not zipping it, so I'm gonna have to come down hard, aren't I? So me and my team of Navy SEALs are gonna be knocking on his door at 8.59 p.m. and we're gonna stop this. It's not happening. We're not doing grift busters. It's not gonna happen on the first Wednesday of every month at 9 p.m. I'm gonna be there with my team on his doorstep. Don't you worry, I'm coming for you, Paul. I'm coming for you. People in the communities, what the fuck have you done? She also says that she's been working in uh, exposing child trafficking, anti-drugs, anti-this, anti-that. She says she's done, doing all these things, and, and I, I question how. Like, where's the proof of any of that? I think that there was um, some some fundraisers uh, set up. Um, so, yeah, okay, I, I can see that that being working towards that. But um, emptying dumps and things, uh, nah. Um and maybe you could say that she's been sharing um, some of these things that support anti this and that. But anyway. Right. You're stealing off everybody. You're killing children and everything. So I'm going to come out and say it. Here we go. I've located through my team, there's 42 of them in London, 16 active dumbs with children. <laughs> Here we go. Children in them. 16. I've now know, I've had confirmation. Did you locate them using your quantum uh, system? Because uh, if so, it's probably bad intel, um, as I am not Paul. <laughs> and uh, it would seem many of the things your quantum system told you um, turned out not to be true. So um... Those dumps are connected to all the airports. So I know how you're shipping these fucking kids around to get them into those dumps. Because it's not just adrenochrome, it's the organ harvesting you're doing, okay? It's going <laughs> to stop. And I might not be here to stop it, but I was the girl, everybody, that proved where the dumps were and got it over to the right country. All the... So again, um, she said this 11 months ago. She said she sent all the information to Donald Trump 11 months ago. So why is she coming on now saying, oh, we, we've, we've located, you know, the locations of, of 16 dumbs and I'm the girl that gave them the information. Um, information from the guys that are on the ground, they never gave me that to keep me safe because you can come and fucking take me if you want. The bottom line is all the evidence from everyone that was on the ground for those 16 active dumps. That's just London. All right. So we know where your fucking exit point is that you can drive into. We've got all your coordinates. We know how you're getting the kids in and out. We know everything. Everything. We know about the small airports, the hobby airports, how you're moving them. We know how you're getting them in in containers. All right. If it's really that sensitive information, you've sent it directly to Donald Trump's team. Um, you know, it's it's underground stuff. You can't reveal 
you know where these locations are um and you sent it there why well because i guess that you think that anyone in this country is not to be trusted and so it has to be handed directly to donald trump's team so all hush hush all very important um information that is going to bring down um, child trafficking throughout the uk and europe then why are you spouting your foul mouth on, off on youtube telling every tom dick and harry and Paul, <laughs> about, um, you know, the fact that you're doing this. Um, isn't that going to compromise um, any important operation that you may have going on here? Um, either it's absolute BS, <laughs> which I'm sure it is, um, or you are thick as pig shit. Seriously. <laughs> You've slipped through the net. Do you think it's only the main ones that America have got hold of? We're coming after all of you. We're going to take every single fucker of you down. Okay. Tim Ballard's just touching the fucking ice with what's going on here. All right. Intel. Intel is everything. Europe and England. We're, we're on you. We're fucking on you now. And we're never going to get off your fucking dick until we kill every single last one of you through the system. Excuse me? System taking you to Guantanamo if you get that far. You might probably get shot by the the cavalry before you get that far, okay? But we are going to come after you, and we're going to save those fucking kids. You're never going to do this anymore because you've got all these dickheads in the UK, and I'm calling them dickheads, Craig, because you know what? All these fucking educated people that tell me they're educated, you don't need fucking education to work out this shit, you dickheads. It's common fucking sense you need, which is none of you seem to have any because you got your fucking heads up your arsehole, okay? What is happening is 16 dumbs, just the London ones, we've located them. Two reporters have taken this information from my lads. One of the reporter works for Donald Trump, advisory on his reporting, uh, reporting team. So we know it's got to the right people now. So you can come and get me. You can try and locate the 42 odd in London, but you're not going to be able to get them because they've just disappeared. So yeah, right now. <laughs> well, uh, these these um, these boys you've got in London. I guess you've stopped calling them U.S. Navy SEALs now. I mean, perhaps you realise how ridiculous that sounds. Um, these these boys in London who we speculated were not real, did not exist. You're telling us that they've just disappeared, <laughs> right? Right, oh, <laughs> get me. Well, I actually haven't got the information they've got. I'm just the fucking mouthpiece, the gob on a stick. The bloody fucking mouthpiece you are as well. <laughs> Gob on a stick. Yeah, I like that one. I going to tell you very, very clearly, you lawyers out there, you top boys, you know who I'm fucking talking to. I might not know your name, but President Trump does now. She might not know your name. President Trump does now. <laughs> Um, and does President Trump know my name is Paul? Um, nonsense. Um, and, and, and you're passing on this information. You said something like, oh, I don't know it all because, you know, my boys are doing your boys are doing are, are, are gathering this intel. Your, your boys. And they're not telling you what the intel is. Well, I guess that's plausible, because if you are actually somehow. Um, and God knows how somehow some boss of some operation like this and, and and god forbid you are but if you were then and uh, you know and i was a part of your team perhaps as part of that team i'd probably think you know what Let, let's keep this bit of information from the boss let's just tell her you know enough and then let's just pass on this information directly because um gosh she can't keep a secret <laughs> <laughs> we can't tell her this. She'll go go effing blinding and blabbing it all over her YouTube channel. Jeez. He knows who you are, where your offshore accounts are, and who you are trading with. You know what I'm talking about. Adrenochrome. You think you're a cut above, don't you? Because you're not dealing with the trafficking side. But you're dealing with the money from the trafficking. You're dealing with the adrenochrome, you're dealing with the gun arms, you're dealing with all of it, aren't you? And yeah, you use Serco to ship some of it around. But you know what's coming. We know where your bank accounts are. We know which your fucking charities are. All of your charities. 
You're no better than Bill Gates, are you? With all your little charities set up. Anyone that's got a charity set up now, you need to start fucking look into it. I'm not about the small ones, I'm not about the big ones. All these fucking arseholes that are humanitarians. I've got more human humanity in my little finger than you motherfuckers have got in your whole body. I very much doubt it. And look, she is just all about shock value, isn't she? I think I said this in uh, 11 months ago. I wonder whether she and some others do have some sort of mental condition, whether, you know, she has convinced herself. Maybe she means well, but she's convinced herself that she is doing this job. You know, she started um, being well-meaning, um, sharing things around, sharing information. Child trafficking is real, etc. And then she's gone kind of down some fantasy rabbit hole where she is literally the boss of a team of Navy SEALs that are literally going in and emptying out underground military bases full of trafficked children herself. And she is in direct contact with Donald Trump or his team. Um, so I do wonder whether she, I mean, look at her eyes. In her eyes, she, I think I used the words passionately threatening. She is so passionately threatening that people believe her. And the way she's saying, we've got your offshore accounts. We know about this. We know about that. You know, these, these are not, necessarily the rhetoric of um, your bog standard liar these these are i believe that she may have convinced herself that this is happening or she's read information similar to this um and she's decided to, to you know to weave that in uh, and convince herself that she has this sort of information i mean I, i'm pretty sure most of you out there watching this how could you believe that this woman this woman is is working for Donald Trump in the UK in charge of a team of 50 odd navy seals um doing this job uh, it's just she would never be put in that position and if she has god save us all okay so this is being burnt that's the only evidence i had shetland islands Ireland, Scotland, all the places where the dumbs are. Because you fuckers, you in that un Scotland, you still love a bit of that fucking adrenochrome, don't you? And you love a bit of fucking eating human flesh, don't you? Oh. Are you, are you sure, Claire, that you're not getting mixed up with iron brew and haggis? Um... <laughs> right, okay, carry on. Am I shocking everyone on here? Do yeah. you not believe that this is the case? Well, I'm Are sure we there is um, child trafficking going on in Scotland as well as Ireland, as, as well as um, most places in the world. But uh, uh, am I sure that you have some secret intel on this? Yeah, very much. Being up not. in the UK and not realising that you've got Satanists in this world that are doing this kind of shit. And it's probably more people than you realise. Anyway, what's going to happen is now... I've given the information over and my team have given their information over. What happens to me is by the fucking by. Come and find me if you want. There's not really much you can do to me now, have you? Because you know what? You've stolen everybody's fucking soul in the UK with what you have done already. There's not much you can take. Not much use in coming for you. The only, the only time people are going to come for you are the people in the white coats that are going to take you and, and, put, and strap you into one of those, you know, you know, suits and put you in a padded wall cell. You know, I, I, I don't believe that you're of any importance to anyone um people wanting to shut you up maybe it's because they're sick of, they're sick of hearing you <laughs> um anyway. you, know, you can make me suffer but that's about it president trump and his team have got every bit of information they need okay when this unfolds you lot are going down and you know what your biggest problem was your ego, your big ships on the shipping canal, who manufactured them, who was on the logbook, well, logbooks, whatever you want to call it, everything to do with them, everything to do with the company's house, all the companies you're involved with, who, as your lawyers, who are your clients? 
We've done many research for three years and we're now at the end game, aren't we? <laughs> we've done many research for three years. Many, we've done many research, we have. <laughs> oh, I've fallen out with people last night because they said they didn't want me to put this video out. And I've lost friends in the last 24 hours. I'm not surprised. I am sure. Very sure. In fact, I know um, because I have people that uh, used to be mods in your channel that, you know, I speak to or part of my groups or even friends of mine now. I am sure that whoever's advising you probably was saying, Claire, don't go back to that. That Don't don't start pushing that stuff again, please. Um, just stick to the sharing of the you know, successful Telegram group. Reshare um, lots of you know information that's been put out about child trafficking. Stuff. Don't start telling people that you're in charge of Navy SEALs and working for Donald Trump and emptying the dumps. Please don't do that because, you know, oh, I can't continue to work with you if you're going to push that crazy BS again um, because you will be a laughing stock <laughs> again. And I can't be affiliated with you. I'm sure that's how you lost your friends last night. But you went ahead anyway, because you're you're that kind of lady. So I'm doing this for everybody that has stayed by my side. And I don't care if I'm not here tomorrow, because I know one thing for sure. I'd rather be me than you lazy motherfucking arseholes in the UK that have got your head up your arses and you're doing nothing. Okay. These children are having their organs taken out of them. Sometimes without actually using anything to stop them in pain. Okay. It's all about shock value. They're literally killing children. It's quite sickening, and really. some adults as well. To use this to persuade people. Quite a lot of dark-skinned people, sadly, as well. Because there's a certain thing they like from them, these fucking Satanists. Made me laugh yesterday, though, when the official death came out of you-know-who. How you're all putting your posts on there, going, sir, and all this. I'm like, fuck me. When you fucking hear what's going to come out in the future, you motherfuckers are going to realise you absolutely sheep. Fuck. Okay, so there's an indicator. Um, information came out yesterday that, um, so I'm guessing she's talking about Prince Philip, the death of F Prince Philip. So what was that? That was a few months ago now. So this 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 video is a few months old. Um, but wasn't Prince Philip one of the people that you were saying or others were saying that had been hanged um, what, way back a year ago in Gitmo? Charlie Ward was certainly saying that. And the thing that's interesting is you became very popular off the back of Charlie Ward, off of working with Charlie Ward, as I've shown about how obsessed you were with him and working with him. After I put out my video on you, I mean, the irony is that you came to his defense in my Telegram channel. You acted like an absolute idiot, uh, vulgar, um, insane person. Um, this resulted in, in you getting exposed as well in the video. And it would seem that Charlie Ward dropped you like a hot potato straight afterwards. <laughs> you never worked with him again, did you? After that, after... After you making an absolute idiot of yourself, trying to attack me and and getting your getting you know getting your fingers bitten um, by trying that and talking absolute nonsense, you know, you come to a guy who had exposed someone that's done some really off stuff, and um, you know is, is clearly grifting. And you came to his aid and decided to start throwing around all sorts of slander, all sorts of lies about me, to smear me. And the irony is, is people didn't want to work with you after that. Um, and, and, and funnily enough, um, I spoke to someone the other day um, that you'd spoken to, to them and, and you were explaining to them about your 22 channels or whatever and, and maybe uh, thinking about trying to, um you know work with them whatever and uh you said oh i've got these channels and um i you know i the reason you know i came to prominence by talking about child trafficking and um you know i'd worked with people like uh michael jaco and that's how you know i i got popularity you didn't you didn't mention charlie ward i, I wonder why because you wouldn't stop talking about him um 11 months ago um maybe even uh, i don't know anyway so yeah, that, I thought that was quite funny and quite ironic.
fucking arse licking sheep believing that that, that shit have got your best interests at heart. They've been trafficking you for years. Prince Philip was one of the biggest fucking heroin importers. So I've since uh, managed to find out um, when this video was shot and it was around the time of Prince Philip's death, which was around the same sort of time that I brought out um, this video on her. In fact, it was just before. So then this brings up the question is, you know, what has she been up to recently? What has she been up to in the last 11 months? Well, it appears ever since my video, it seems that I can't find, and, and guys, please um, put in the comments if you have found, that as soon as I've done my video, that this whole fantasy narrative was completely destroyed and she went a completely different direction. Now, I know, and I've done videos, she she worked with Madison Marquette for a while, um, another fraudster who I've done a video on, and, and go check that out, um, something like 12 Reasons I Don't Trust Madison Marquette. Um, she is an absolute fraud. But they worked together for a while because Madison Marquette was the kind of American version. She was apparently emptying the dumbs of children in America. But she's not. And it appears that Claire's team, there was they started fundraisers. Madison Marquette wanted the money to go into her account. Um, they realized that she was a fraudster and had done this before. And they uh, rightly so distanced themselves from Madison Marquette. So there was that that scenario. But apart from that, it seems like ever since my video, this whole narrative of Navy SEALs and dumbs had disappeared. So what has you been up to? Um, anything but that. Um, that narrative disappeared. It was a lie. Uh, her work, working with Charlie Ward, disappeared. Um, he didn't want nothing to do with her. She was had clearly been outed and he couldn't afford to have that. He had enough heat from myself and others, uh, knowing that Charlie is also a fraud. So what's she been up to? Anything but making crazy claims. Um, she has been instead sharing questionable stuff, as well as, you know, maybe some stuff that is worth taking note of. But uh, she's sharing other people's work. She has been interviewing people. I've not watched all those interviews. Um, but uh, as far as I'm aware, she's interviewing them for their information and not to spout her false narrative. So it appears she was grift busted. She knew it. And, um, you know, if she was living in a false fantasy world, maybe she come to understand that it was all a fantasy of hers and then played to her strengths or played to played safely, which was to drop some fake grift narrative. She'd been caught red handed and, to instead be a telegram hub of, of sharing information, perhaps do some interviews with some interesting people, whether they're genuine or not. But uh, yeah, this whole, this whole shit show, um, it was destroyed. It was, it's gone away. She's, she's not, she's not on that boat anymore and hasn't been for a long time. So victory for the truth, I guess. Dickheads. All of you, fucking dickheads. I need to not stay on any longer on here. The truth will come out, okay? And it's gone to America and it's gone through the official way because not one of us in our team have got all the information and not one of us is connected. It's all done with meeting at places.